Sorry guys, I am late. Well, my name is Saeed, and today I will be presenting a section from Chapter 12. There are six patterns, one of which is time patterns. The most common patterns of organization is arrangement according to time pattern, and it can be anything like centuries to seconds, years to months, etc. They are also the foundation for climax patterns. Climax patterns are used to create suspense, and it can also be reversed, then it becomes anticlimactic organization. Second one is space patterns. These patterns are organized according to area, and they can be stated in terms of continents, centimeters, or anything in between. Did you knew that one of the greatest speakers of the 20th century, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., knew well how to construct a speech and how to conclude it with passion? And now, it's time for the third one. Topic Pattern This pattern is based on types or categories, and they could be either well-known or original, but both have their own advantages. Well-known categories are advantageous because people know about them, but they have their disadvantages too, such as ah, this again, expression. So if your audience is not interested, they will stop listening to you. To avoid it, try and invent new, original categories that freshens up your topic. One of its pattern is problem solution pattern. This pattern describes what's wrong and gives its solution. Not always, but usually, it is divisible into two parts, the problem and its solution. It's time to talk about cause effect patterns. This pattern is almost similar to problem solution patterns. In this pattern, the order is reversed. It talks about the effects first and then the causes. For the first two main point in their persuasive speech paper, People often use this pattern. Cause effect and problem solution patterns are often combined in various arrangements. And now the last one, the Munro's motivation sequence. It was introduced by a scholar named Alan Munro in 1930s. In this pattern, the problem is broken down into two steps, attention step and a need step. And the solution is broken down into three steps, satisfaction step, visualization step and an action step. Yay, I am done. Hope you liked this video.